My son Jack loves McDonald's frozen Fanta. And so about a year ago, we were going through drive through and I handed him his frozen drink and his straw. But it wasn't his normal big, thick plastic straw that he's been used to for years. No, it was a paper straw. Now this kid takes one look at that paper straw and loses it. He's like, what is this? I can't use this. I can't use a paper straw for a frozen drink. It's just not going to work. And I'm like, oh boy. And I explained to him why McDonald's were using paper straws and that if he didn't want to use it, he was going to have to wait till we got home and he could use our stainless steel straws instead. So he's like, okay, I'll wait. So the kid's sitting there looking longingly at the drink. It's sort of melting in the car, but he doesn't drink it until he gets home. And this has happened for months. But this week, we went through McDonald's drive-thru. I put his frozen drink in the middle console and tentatively put the paper straw next to it, just in case. And Jack opens up the paper straw, puts it in, takes a sip of his drink and turns to me. He's like, I, I like these paper straws. They, they work really well. I'm like, what the? <laughs> I mean, are you serious? After months of poo-pooing on this paper straw, now he loves it. And it was just a great reminder to me that change takes time. And I know as a leader in a team, in an organization, that when your people are not on board with the change, it can be so frustrating because you understand the why behind the change and you know it is going to make such a positive difference, but your people can't see it. They're not on the same page. They have on a different set of glasses and are just seeing it completely differently. So what do you do as a leader in these circumstances? Well, I think firstly, you have to keep communicating the why over and over in different ways. You want to really evoke their emotion. You want to sell the change to them and motivate, inspire and influence and persuade them. Secondly, you need to have patience. You know what? The change is not going to happen overnight and it's probably not going to happen as quickly as you want it to. And that's okay because your people need to go through the stages of change and they need to work out and get their own way through that change piece and come out the other side and get on the same page. And then finally, you need to stay strong particularly in the tough moments, the moments where people are throwing their hands up and complaining to you and telling you this will never work because you are going to hear that, of course, and it might be so tempting just to go, oh, well, it didn't work. We tried it and to roll the change back. But you know what? If you stay strong, if you be patient and if you keep communicating the why and take them through the process, one day they will turn around to you and they are going to love that paper straw. I am, I can, I'm a jump. Bye guys.